Welcome to this latest edition of Love and Money. My name is Joel Solomon. I'm a prosperity coach. This is Tony Veer. He's a relationship coach. And today we're going to be talking about speculating versus investing. Now, I had a client, prospective client, come to me recently and say, stock market's risky. I'm not going to ever invest there. Well, I will tell you, I know at least one person who made money in the stock market. His name start with a J? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and, and so your beliefs can impact your, your views on different investment categories. But I will tell you that it's important to know the difference between speculating and investing. To me, speculating, it's just gambling. You're, you're putting money into an investment for a very short amount of time and there are people who will actually put money into the stock market for a few hours and expect to make money and I think, in my view, that's just pure speculating, pure gambling. Why don't they just go to the grocery store and get a lot of tickets? Right, exactly, <laughs> or go to the blackjack table, yeah, yeah. right? So that's what it is. Now, what we did as hedge fund managers, I did between 2008 and 2016 as a hedge fund manager. As you know, I shut down my hedge fund, Solomon Capital, in 2016, become a prosperity coach and help people become financially free. But what I did as a hedge fund manager was we looked at the long-term economic fair value of the security over the long term. So what is it worth? What we were investing. We were trying to figure out what the company was worth, not making a speculative gamble for the next hour on a particular security. And so I believe that you'll make a lot more money if you have a plan and you invest for the long term rather than speculate. And I'm sure Tony can relate this to relationships. Oh yeah, oh my God. So when it comes to the difference between speculating and investing in relationships, one of the main, if not the main reasons or ways to determine that is whether or not and how much you know who you really are. Mm -hmm. Because people who know who they are, they really can't handle being around people who do not know who they are. And people who don't know who they are, they don't know that they don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. And so they're getting in a relationship with somebody who does not know who they are. And the reason that that is, is because the people who do know who they are, they be like, you don't know who you are enough. I can't be with you. So they end up with people who don't know who they are. And then each person in the relationship is expecting the other person to make them happy. So they're speculating because they're like, well, you know, I like you. Chemistry is good. Yeah, I like you. So let's be together. Yeah, no, that's not going to be good enough. Because you need to know who you are. Because when you know who you are, you don't be making decisions that make you end up saying, gee, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Right, right, right. So that's one of the big reasons about that. And then you don't make the same mistakes over and over again. You don't change your mind very often because you already know that you're still going to like what you want after you actually got it. Mm -hmm. And so when you're dealing with somebody in, in, the, in the dating world as somebody who is actually an investor, you're looking to see if they meet your qualifications. Mm -hmm. But these qualifications are not like you better be good to me or like that. I want to know that you, we can partner together as opposed to make me happy and take care of me. So you investing in your relationship, it's a matter of how mature you are, it's a matter of how wise you are, it's a matter of how much research you've done in the area of relationships, and then you'll find somebody who is a real match at that maturity level that you're at, mm -hmm. or whoever they're with is at. Mm -hmm. And then when you don't know this stuff, you'll just be keep gambling, and then at some point you might even get to the point where you're like, there's no such thing as love. <laughs> because you keep trying and it just don't work out. But love does exist and it exists within you. And so I'm going to end what I got to say um, around this, which is uh, a saying that I heard a while ago called, you don't have to look for love when that's where you're coming from. Nice. Great so, way to end this one. Yes. Thanks for watching. All right, bye.